Welcome to this Optimized Press Clubhouse update. Today's video, we're looking at a new template called Bespoke. Now, here it is on the screen. We've got this purple image across the top. You notice straight away we've got this triangular shape pointing down, taking the eye down towards this page. So let's take a look at the top section anyway. We've got the logo over on the left hand side here. You can switch this out with your own logo. Nice big bold heading, text underneath, and then we've got this call to action, this orange color that sits on top of that purple. And you see if I click on it, it opens up the overlay optimizer box. Inside that we've got an opt-in form, so a bit of leap catcher for you straight away in that top section. So a nice call to action button, orange color, stands out lovely on that purple background. And you'll notice then you've got the triangular sort of shape and it takes the eye down towards this benefits section. Now I'll show you a bit in the live editor how we put in this triangular shape in a moment. So let's go on down. We've got the benefits section here. Now we've created some custom icons that you can use highlighting each of your beneficial points of your product or your service. So this section itself, same color tone we've used in the purple sort of font. We've brought that across into the icons. You see these are nice little icons. You can also put your own text underneath these. We've got a headline with a text block underneath it with, you can use to carry some text throughout your benefits. You could obviously clone this section down as well if you had more. So you could clone this for these four benefit points, clone them down and add in another four if you wanted to. You can create your own icons. That's entirely up to you. So then we're going to go down into a features section. Now this includes a video and you'll see here we've got the video section and we've got this half sort of color background coming along the bottom. Now I'll show you that inside the live editor. So the video sits sort of slightly over that row below just to sort of change up the designs or break up how the eye is seeing the contents. So you've got this video section and then that drops down into some more featured areas. You can see here we're using the featured blocks. Nice little purple um, background on top of that with the white font on top and then we've got these little orange icons that we've used and created there for these feature sections. You could remove some of these out, you could add more in, but a good place to put in some features directly underneath that video. So if it's related content, you can then show the features below to back up your video content above. So that purple row breaks up from the white again, so then we drop down, we go into this testimonial section. It's a lovely uh, section here, we've used the um, purple color around each of the images of the people. We've got the purple font in the headline as well and bring that orange color through in the name used in testimonial. So you've got the image, you've got the name and you've got a nice italic font there. Use beautiful section, looks very clean and it's quite compact as well. So it's very easy to read actually all in that one section. Then we're going to drop down into another bullet list. We've used this as like a key benefits area. Lots of white space here, very easy to read. Little custom icons for the bullet icons. Use this to highlight a good list of features for your product or your service. And then we're scrolling on down to the last call to action area. You see we've got this headline section here. This is the last call to get someone to come through and click. If we click on the button, we'll open up the overlay optimizer again. Bring that purple color back through to that call to action button there. But it's a nice section, last sort of shout out to get someone to click through and maybe opt in for your form. And then on the bottom section, you'll see we've got this background image we've used, a lovely background image um, on top of or behind the font here. So you could use this to maybe put in your address, details on the left hand side again, your logo, you've got your address, and you've got your call number or your phone number and an email address over on the right hand section. So if someone gets to the bottom of your landing page, you can then add a bit more credibility to yourself, your product, by including your address and your phone number, so they could always, you know, maybe contact you if you want to be contacted. Um, carries a lot of weight in your marketing if you sh shows you're a real person on the other end of that phone. So showing a phone number and address is always good. Let's jump into the live editor. I'm going to show you that triangular um, section. You can see it here. It's done with some CSS. So if I edit this row. You can see here we've got this triangular divider CSS and then below here is the actual image. If I drag it into this dark section you can just see. Okay, so you don't have to play around with any of that. If you do, you need to look for the triangular divider CSS class which is in the page settings in the custom CSS. So that's how it's done there. It's just using that triangular divider CSS. And the same is used on the video section. If we go down to here and we edit this row. So I'm editing the row for the video and you'll see inside that we've got the triangle divider bottom and what's that, what that is doing is pushing this bar, you'll see this bar here I don't need to click on it, this bar here is getting pushed 
down to the bottom of this row so it sits on the bottom of this row and it overlaps that video content in the middle which gives us that effect where it's sitting where the video is sitting just on top um, of the row below it so that's how we do them two little tweaks lovely template beautiful template it's got a few little custom designs in it nice little address and info section at the bottom as always it's available in the clubhouse for download now if you do use it in your business we'd love to see it drop us an email connect with us on social media so we can see how you use it in your business